What I found most interesting in using the R5C was the... There's a couple things about the R5C that I, uh, after shooting with it for, let's see, I've had it for like two months plus. Recently, I've been using it exclusively. It's been the only vlog camera I'm using. It's been the only like a roll camera for full projects, like the Matt Barnes thing you saw on Tuesday. Is this the new vlog cam? Is this my new daily, my every day? You've got a cinema camera on one side. You've got a photo camera on the other side, both very, very highly, highly capable. That's exciting. We're going to shoot an artist profile right now of Matt Barnes, one of my favorite uh, Toronto photographers. And I'm bringing along a little bit of help to do it. There he is. Hey, hey man. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I brought a second one for you to use. <laughs> Ooh. You get an R5. <laughs> you get an R5. <laughs> This is pretty sick! I thought we could both use them today. Oh, yes! This is cool, right? I'm very curious. Okay, let's go. Yeah. There's just a few things about it that are kind of quirky, a few things that I really like, but I figured I would, you know, let you know about those things. I also bought a stoplight on Facebook Marketplace. Call me inspired. There's even a switch on the sides to change what color you want the light. That looks sick. <laughs> it's huge. Man, I did not expect traffic lights to be that big. But then again, I guess you never really see them up close. Oh my shoes. I brought I brought something else too. It's a bit of a hog on batteries, so like I brought I brought a, a, a bunch for us. To, to, Just a few. I'm not kidding, Just man. In case. Like we will probably use all of these. Like I've been vlogging for like two minutes, just waiting for you. I'm probably almost dead. <laughs> what I found most interesting in using the R5C was the battery life. Never in my life have I ever really stressed or worried about battery life. When I was shooting with the R, it wasn't an issue. When I was shooting with the 1DX Mark II, not an issue. This R5C, I'm concerned about battery life. I packed every single LPE6 that I owned, and we probably went through nine of them, shooting for about three hours tops. So it eats batteries. Now, mind you, half of what we shot was in 8K full frame, but if you wanna actually shoot raw and go 8K raw light, you gotta bring an external power source with you. It's a bit of a journey to get here, but I think his studio is in a church. This isn't just like, Going to my friend's studio. This is like Matt Barnes' studio. Very excited. I brought a 70 to 200. I brought a 50. Are you shooting raw? I don't this know. This thing does raw? I know, it does 8K raw light. If you're gonna shoot 8K raw though, you need an external power source. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Pete, what do you mean by an external power source? I mean that if you wanna shoot raw light, you gotta bring a power bank, a battery bank. You gotta take an anchor bank and somehow fasten it to the camera because it needs external power to be able to power that much data being driven through the camera. So to expect an LPE6 battery this size to be able to power 8K raw light footage, that's a lot to ask. That's really uncharacteristic of Canon, but I also appreciate that. Yeah. I am like, people will take that as like, oh, this sucks. But I'm like, give me that option. If I wanna shoot it like that, then give me that option. Don't not give me that option, yeah. you know? Does yeah. that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Dude, this place is a church. What the heck? How's it going, man? How are you? Good. Dude, this place is cool. This place is epic. And we haven't even seen, we're just in like the... <laughs> like I, just, I literally just walked in the foyer and I'm already like... Look at this thing. Super, look at that. That's like a, I didn't even see that. That's like a cinema, like, what is that, like a 20K or something? I'd say it would have been a 20K. It's yeah. from the 30s. I just, I fell in love with it, found it at an antique store, and it was like painted like that. Yeah. I just guessed on the 20K thing. I have, <laughs> I've never used the 20K. That was, that was a good guess <laughs> there. Just, 20, just a little 20K banger up there, you know, whatever. Yeah. Thanks, Maddie. Yeah. Obviously, it's these things. Thank you. So, that's awesome. Yeah, dude, I haven't, I haven't been in here five minutes. And I have a steaming coffee in my hands. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
you take that fancy camera down the slide or what? Oh, I think I can <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Oh, wow, all the <laughs> I need one of these. <laughs> that. Hi. That was incredible. Another really interesting quirk with the R5C is the fact that it switches to photo and video. Now, a lot of cameras do that, but what's particularly trippy about the R5C is when you're in photo mode, all the menus are in your classic Canon photo modes, but when you flip over to video mode, it's instantly a cinema camera. These are the classic Canon menus you are used to. No problems there, we've seen that a million times. Flip over to video, now it takes a minute. Watch, I flipped it over. So now we're there. Okay, so I don't know how long that was. Several seconds, it's not instant, but now we are in the cinema menus. So I found that very trippy when I was filming just because I wasn't ready for it. I've been run and gun filming and vlogging and making videos and flipping back and forth for the past almost five years this March. I just lost all my light. Welcome to a nice overcast day. So to have to have the menus entirely switch to something else, it, it's nice and it's good and it's needed, but it did kind of throw an extra hiccup down when it would be like, switch to 120. I'd think, well, how, do I, how do I do that again? I don't really bring people here. It's like, uh, this is kind of like my secret lair. We pick this holy Bible here and just give that a little tug ski. We can go back here to the secret lair. Maddie, this might be one of the best days of my life. They're going down into the secret lair. Yeah, this is like our office. This is our, this is like our, our Etsy room. We collect like vintage like clothing and stuff like that my whole life. So we sell like, uh, like all our old wardrobe from photo shoots and old props and things like that. This is uh, my in-house fortune teller, Jezebel. <laughs> So cool, dude. Yeah, this book is beautiful. Hot rods in California. Are your photo books for sale anywhere? No. Cool. <laughs> Too shy for that. Well, how come, dude? This is the most beautiful photo book I've seen. I don't know, I'm not ready or something. I don't know, I'm scared. Is that the only copy? No, I made three. One for my dad, one for the studio, and one for myself. It's probably my best photo I've ever taken, I think. Really? I, and I think that's really just because most people really like it. But it's, uh, yeah, technically and artistically, it's a, it's a really cool balance, so. And it's for me? Yeah, it's for you. Oh, dude, thanks, man. <laughs> that's great. I always tell people, the gift of photography. It's nice, printed work's a good thing. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's huge. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. This is the beginning of my Matt Barnes lookalike studio. <laughs> this is the first step, thank you. All right, in the spirit of uh, hanging with Matt Barnes, I found this super cool old school neon sign. Oh yeah, look at that, it's so cool. That's going right there, for sure. So I think all in all, I really liked the R5C. The form factor that it has, I think is quite honestly perfect. It's the same size as the R5, it just has a deeper back that houses the fan so that you can shoot 4K, 120 and things like that longer without overheating. Very, very excited that that will no longer be an issue, hopefully. Shoots photos just like a regular camera. I still think the R3 when it comes to automotive or fast moving subject matter will still probably find its way into my camera bag because I really liked the autofocus tracking on the R3 and how fast it is. It is a machine gun. But you've got a really high res camera built right into that R5C as well. So it is for all intent and purposes, a one and done camera. This is by far the most ridiculous in the best way, place I've ever been. I, I started this video this morning leaving my office and every time I walk in I think, it's a good vibe in here. And I'm going to return on the same day with the completely opposite feeling because I'm gonna, re I'm gonna retrofit everything. I feel like I need a slide and more color. Um, just 
have I given you guys a, a proper, like, it just you, everywhere you look, it looks incredible. This is for documentary purposes, so I can look back and be like, okay, where was the Jew? Got it. Stained glass, got it. Fun Persian rugs everywhere, got it. My office is so lame and corporate <laughs> compared to this that I, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, there's no whiteboards or bulletin boards <laughs> yeah. in here, is there? <laughs> Tyler, scrap that whiteboard idea. <laughs> A super small little thing that kept throwing me off was the record button is the shutter button. Uh, and I'm not used to that. So I found myself recording a lot of clips when actually I wasn't recording any clips at all. I hadn't even hit record. Because on the R3 here or on the R5 or other cameras, you're usually hitting a dedicated record button on the top or on the back side of the camera. But with the R5C, it's right on the shutter button. Right there, that's the button. But typically, I'm used to pressing it here or back here. But these aren't shortcomings of the camera. These are just things that take getting used to. It's like getting a new pair of shoes. They're a little uncomfortable at first. They look great, but you gotta wear them in before you truly appreciate them. And I think any new camera, despite the brand that it is, you're gonna run into a lot of the same situation. So a lot of these little quirks threw me off in the first few days that I was shooting with it, but I'm sure they're things that would e eventually become non-things. A couple more things I gotta do here, and then I gotta run to the office. Uh, let's, you know what, you come with me. Come to the office. Thank you for having us. This is incredible. Thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. I still can't Thanks, believe man. this place is so great. You guys are amazing. Uh, I hope to see you both on YouTube. Soon. It's coming. Okay. It's coming. Wait. See you guys. Bye. Like, that's the outside of his house, bro. That's his house. He, he lives in a church. How can I go back to my place anymore? <laughs> How? <laughs> Sorry, it's open now. Oh, okay. you're already inside. How did you get inside so fast? Oh, by the way, I got rid of the cage. Thank you to today's sponsor. You might think it's sponsored by Canon, but it's not sponsored by Canon. Today, we're sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands, thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning. If you're new to this channel and you're starting your photography journey, Skillshare is a great place to also look into to further any types of skills that you might have. Maybe it is photography, maybe it's illustration, maybe it's cooking, maybe it's something else. Uh, here's a little fun fact about it. It's ad free and new premium courses are launched every single week. So those are two things, ad free. It's always good to improve your skills on something that you might have been just dying to learn. No matter what it is, the first thousand people to visit the link in the description shall receive one month free trial. Click the link and explore the breadth of amazing content that Skillshare has to offer. I don't know why, this is getting more and more intense. I started with a little wee bit of an English accent and I moved to something a little wee more aggressive, but I don't think I like the aggressive one. I think I prefer this style of a British accent versus doing something that's very, very over the top. Skillshare, click the link below. Am I the only one driving around speaking with a British accent? Is it just me? Here we are, talking about Skillshare. Talking about Skillshare. Have you clicked the link, love? Have you clicked it? I believe you should click it. Get on with it. I'm having fun, guys. I'm just stoked right now. Um, honestly, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Check them out. Uh, no new learning is ever a bad thing. So always up in your personal game, gaining knowledge in whatever craft you're interested in. I stand by that. So thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Oh, please hold. Let them be light. I think ultimately the R5C will for sure find its place into my bag. It's it's the perfect, you know, you're going on a trip, you don't want to bring a whole bunch of bodies, you want to keep weight down, you don't want to travel with all of the things. It's 2022, like how do I streamline this? I think this is the way you streamline this. Uh, you know, as someone that gets to play and experience a lot of different types of cameras, it's hard when you only get a couple days or a week with something and you gotta formulate an opinion when you haven't really like even worked a project with it. So I was grateful that I got some extended time with this to really put it through its paces. And I, 
I think of all the Canon releases to date, like even over the R3, I, I prefer it. I like it better than the R3. The R3, like I mentioned earlier, is still good at those like specific things that I, I wanna keep it for. But like, if you ask me, would I use this? Should I get it? Like, what are you gonna do? I'm probably gonna commit to just making it my one and done, unless I'm shooting automotive. That was my tripod, by the way. My little, my setup. Guys, the cage is gone. What is, what are you up to, PM? Did you hear my uh, English accent? Did you like it? Did it make you laugh a little bit? Come on, bro. <laughs> Nothing? You guys gotta keep it down up here, eh? It's a little rowdy. Come on, I got the app. It's a little... It's a little rowdy. Okay. Yo! How much do you love your job? <laughs> he loves his job, I promise. He tells me that. I like to think he's telling the truth. 